Tempe, Arizona, September 3rd, quarterback Case Cookus. The Sun Devils won 44-13. Photo by Jennifer Stewart, Getty Images, it's not hard to understand why so much anticipation and speculation has focused on the San Francisco 49ers, first pick of the 2019 NFL Draft. It's the no. Two overall selection, after all, and there's likely no more than three players general manager John Lynch will target there, Ohio State edge Nick Bosa, Alabama defensive tackle Quinn and Williams and Kentucky edge Josh Allen. Even the Niners' second pick, no. 36 overall, is easily debated. There are surely going to be some first-round holdovers slipping into round two, making that choice pretty provocative. This slideshow wants nothing to do with those two selections. Not even San Francisco's third-round pick? No, this is all about day three choices for the 49ers, players likely to go between rounds four and seven of the NFL draft. And while they rarely receive the attention first and second round prospects get, they can be just as potent as the sure-fire pro bowlers of the first two rounds. Case in point, the Niners grabbed tight end George Kittle in round 5 of the 2017 NFL Draft, and all he did was set NFL records last season. Cornerback Richard Sherman was another fifth-round draftee, taken by the Seattle Seahawks back in 2011 en route to a four-time Pro Bowl career. Who be the next proverbial, diamond in the rough, candidate selected by San Francisco? Here are five day three players the Niners would be wise to target in 2019, banking on the hopes they can be the next late round finds that ultimately outperform any and all expectations. Next, no. 5. Wide Receiver Emmanuel Butler, Northern Arizona Page 2 TEMPE, as, September 3rd, Wide Receiver Emmanuel Butler. The Arizona State Sun Devils 144-13. Photo by Jennifer Stewart, Getty Images. The 49ers need a big-bodied target at wide receiver, especially after no Niners wide out reached 500 receiving yards in 2018. Pair that with the fact San Francisco's red zone offense finished dead last in touchdown efficiency a year ago, and one can see why grabbing a go-to wide receiver would be a top priority. But there's a good chance the 49ers shelve this need until later. In doing so, they could open up the door for a late-round acquisition of Northern Arizona wide receiver Emmanuel Butler. FCS players don't get anywhere near the attention as other top prospects. One such example, who slipped in the draft because of this yet became a Hall of Famer, is former 49ers wide receiver Terrell Owens out of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. This isn't to say Butler, who stands at 6 foot 3 and 217 pounds, is on Owens' trajectory. And coming off a 2017 shoulder injury certainly hurt his draft stock. Butler isn't particularly fast, either, although he's more than capable of winning 50 to 50 balls and using his lengthy frame to create some separation. Butler is likely going to be a 7th round draft choice, potentially slipping into undrafted free agency. If the 49ers want to take a flyer, Butler's intangibles make him more than worthwhile on day three. Next, no. 4. Tight end Donald Parham, Stetson Page 3 George Kittle was one of the better day three finds the 49ers have enjoyed in recent history. That said, it wouldn't be a shock to see the Niners look to upgrade tight end depth behind Kittle going into 2019, one of the reasons is Kittle's immediate backup, Garrett Selleck, is coming off a disappointing 2018 campaign in which he was flagged more times, 6, and had receptions, 5. And turning 31 years old before the regular season begins won't help his long-term prognosis for sticking around. San Francisco could grab one of the more prolific tight ends earlier in the draft, such as Iowa's TJ Hawkinson or Noah Fant. A mid-rounder is possible, too, yet it might be smarter to try finding another late-round gem. Like Stetson's Donald Parham. At 6 foot 8 and 235 pounds, Parham might be a bit lean but is absolutely a pass-catching mismatch nightmare if he gets open. And you have to take this into account from his pro day, courtesy of the Daytona Beach News Journal. 
In fact, in a few of the key areas, he performed better than Iowa's TJ. Hawkinson, who's projected to be the first tight end taken in April's draft, his vertical jump of 38.5 inches, broad jump of 10 feet, 5 inches, and 40-yard dash of 4.67 all bettered Hawkinson, and his 17 bench press reps of 225 pounds matched him. Parham is essentially an NBA forward lining up on the gridiron. Without even considering anything else, just matching his height and speed should be enough to warrant consideration from scouts, including the 49ers, who could likely target Parham in round 6 or 7 without worrying one bit. San Francisco currently doesn't have a 7th round draft choice, but that doesn't eliminate trades. Next, no. 3. Cornerback Jimmy Moreland, James Madison Page 4 CHAPEL Hill, NC, September 17, Bug Howard. Photo by Grant Halverson, Getty Images, like their tight end situation, the 49ers would be wise to add some depth behind cornerback Richard Sherman. The team needs a long-term option to replace Sherman, and there's also a chance neither Aquilo Witherspoon nor Tarvarius Moore wind up being shoe-in starters for the long run. It's hard to say whether or not the Niners would envision James Madison cornerback Jimmy Moreland as a boundary player. After all, at 5'11 and 175 pounds, Moreland looks more like a nickel cornerback than anything else. Maybe a player who could convert to free safety. Either way, San Francisco is at least intrigued. Want your voice heard? Join the Niner noise team. Right for us. The Houston Chronicle's Aaron Wilson reported the 49ers worked out Moreland, along with the New York Giants and Tennessee Titans. Additionally, Moreland participated on head coach Kyle Shanahan's South squad at the 2019 Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. By casual counting, that's two dates for the San Francisco and Moreland courtship. And if you're concerned with Moreland's size and the ability to match up outside, it seems nearly every scouting report states he plays much bigger than his height would indicate. Nothing wrong with that, especially if the Niners are able to get him in round 6. He could go sooner, too. Next, no. 2. Offensive guard to round Prescott page 5 Use your arrows to browse One might not think the 49ers offensive line is a big issue heading into 2019, but it secretly is. Especially along the interior, where center Weston Richburg and left guard Lake and Tomlinson are both coming back from the injuries suffered last season. And while re-signing versatile lineman Mike Person this offseason was smart, there's still a concern about proven depth and prevention against injury attrition. San Francisco probably won't use one of its first three picks in the NFL draft on an offensive lineman. Heck, the team might wait until round six to grab someone. If that's the case, an NC State offensive guard to Ron Prescott falls into the sixth round, John Lynn shouldn't hesitate. Prescott moves exceptionally well for a player at 6 foot 5 and 331 pounds. His forte, of course, is run blocking and Prescott can do it in space, too, which makes him an ideal candidate for Kyle Shanahan's zone-style scheme. Like many rookie linemen, Prescott needs some help in his pass protection. But this isn't nearly as bad when he's not on an island. And as a reserve, developmental option, he'd be a fine pickup by the 49ers in the later rounds. Next, number 1, Safety Marquise Blair, Utah Use Your Arrows, to browse.